ripples of thunder, the gale like a ghost in the middle watch moans gliding over and under. Deep in the forest, the lyrebird lays her solitary egg. Her mate scratches for grubs and worms. A cold winter sun filters into the wet forest. New growth is at its lowest ebb. Grey winter hath gone like a wearisome guest, and behold, for repayment, September comes in with the wind from the west and the spring in her raiment. These gaunt spectres, legacy of some past forest fire, rear their ugly heads to the blue skies of another spring. In their shadows, sturdy young mountain ash thrive in the moist earth. So nature provides her own replacement. Where the slow chemistry of nature is unable to reclose the damaged earth, the risk of soil erosion, especially in catchment areas, is countered by hand-planted trees. The shattered trinity is restored, the rain cycle is renewed, and a young forest of great future potential is established. So nature's task is eased. In other areas, tiny eucalypts are sent out in metal cylinders for hand-planting. Orderly rows of trees are typical of a man-made forest. Oh, season of changes, of shadow and shine, September the splendid. My song hath no music to mingle with thine, and its burden is ended. But thou, being born of the winds and the sun, by mountain, by river, mayst lighten and listen and loiter and run with thy voices forever. September, October, November. Spring has run her brief span into summer. with you.